Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? Leacris Mobility, a wholly owned subsidiary of Leacris Enterprises. Got an update on the HP Hewlett Packard desktop <coughs> data recovery saga. Uh, seems I made a slight error in procedure. Yeah, that, that's a good word, procedure. Because what I did was I use DD Rescue, as I talked about in the last video, and I wrote the data from the failing drive directly onto a new hard drive, and at first, well, it was a success, so it's not a total failure procedure, but I've learned something for next time. <coughs> I wrote the data directly to the new drive, took out the slave drive that had the original data on it, Rehooked up the uh, DVD and the CD-ROM drives on the Dell, and um, then had to run. Now I started the computer and said no boot device available. Well, I figured that I figured that might happen, but I was hoping since I was writing a direct image from disk to disk, it wouldn't. So had to whip out the old test disk utility, which is incredibly useful in situations like this because it can write a new master boot record. I know you don't know what that means. It's not really important. And it can write a new partition table. I know you don't know what that means, but don't worry about it. In other words, what it does is <clears throat> it enables to drive to find the operating system so that it can boot and it worked great. Ran test disk, took about 10 or 15 minutes to get everything activated on the drive again, our master boot record and the partition table. And so it started booting into Windows 98. I was like, yes, we are there. And then I started to remember why Windows 98 SE was not such a great operating system after all, because, well, it was okay. But in 2018, trying to find device drivers for a computer that was made in 2002 is quite, well, let's just say it's quite the adventure. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised because uh, the computer that I'm working with, a Dell Dimension uh, 3000, was made in 2002. I thought, well, four years, oh my gosh, they certainly will have Windows 98 device drivers for that computer. And you go to the Dell site, and no, they don't. They never did release. That's how that's how great Windows XP was. That's the only way I can explain it. It's because manufacturers looked at XP and they looked at Windows 98 and said, we're not even going to begin to support Windows 98 on a new hardware. It is absolutely not worth it. You know why? Because <clears throat> somebody's got a Dell. And for some reason, they've just got to have Windows 98 on their computer. So they go and install Windows 98 on their computer, and then all of a sudden they start having all these problems. And the next thing you know, Dell customer support is overwhelmed with problems, and they just didn't know. They said, nope. It's, it's like the, the leap from Windows 98 to... Well, it's not even really a true comparison, but the, the leap from Windows 98 to XP is almost, well, is, is more than the leap from XP to Windows 7, but it's a similar kind of like, oh, wow, this is so much better that we are not even going to, we're, we're not even going to think about any more XP drivers anymore for Windows 7 machines. And so that's, that's what the deal is, was, excuse me. And so all I can do was go back and try to identify the specific hardware on that machine and try to find device drivers. And I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I tried. And I thought I about had it licked until I finally found a sound driver for the Dell Dimension from Windows 98 era. And it installed, and I thought, we've got it made. And then all of a sudden, the mouse doesn't work and the keyboard doesn't work. And it's like there's some kind of, but I can't, you know, it's like it's kind of tough to work on a computer if you don't have an input device. So I started up in safe mode and safe mode is pretty much worthless because of course, in safe mode, a lot of the drivers don't load. So you can't see 
what's going on with all the devices. You know, obviously there's a conflict between the sound driver and the USB drivers for the mouse and the keyboard, but I can't get to it. I can't fix it. It works in safe mode. It doesn't work in regular mode. As soon as it boots up, I go to hit any kind of login, and neither, neither the mouse nor the keyboard are responsive, and so... And so because I was kind of dumb and wrote the image directly to the drive, now I have to rewrite, recopy the old drive to the new drive, except this time I'm not going to make the same mistake because I'm writing the file to an image instead of to directly to the drive. And so I'll have an image. I can write that to the drive. I, and, and so there's two, there's really two ways to go with this right now. It's either try again to find the device drivers for the Dell and maybe just not do the sound driver because it's not being used in a way that needs sound. <clears throat> or I can just put the hard drive back in the original HP machine. The problem with that is that it's going to delay the completion of the project by a week because it needs a new, it absolutely does need a new power supply. So the middle ground that I think I'm going to try in the morning, as soon as this drive finishes copying again, and everything is still looking good for, to get a good image off that old hard drive. Lucky me, could have could have just wiped it all out. Of course, then if I wiped it all out, then that's that's just the way it goes because there's no guarantee when you're working with hard drive recovery. But I'd feel bad. But fortunately, everything's progressing nicely. The uh, the progress on reading the drive to the new image is proceeding at about the same rate as it did the first time, and so I don't think I did any damage to the original drive <clears throat> by running it through that DD Rescue. So, basically, that's where we are right now. I can, excuse me, deliver the computer with a new power supply that does not fit in the chassis, but will allow, it has leads that are long enough to hook up to all the places it needs to hook up to the drives and to the motherboard. And so it's long enough to do that. If they'll, if they'll uh, accept that for about a week, and then I can order a power supply. Or they can just use it, you know, with the power supply sitting outside the computer. I don't know in what kind of environment they're using it in. So I'm going to as soon as I get that new image, and I'm sure, as soon as I'm sure that it works, I'm going to just give them a call and say, "Look, here's your options. What do you want me to do?" Uh, the problem, the, the problem is, you know, because uh, I kind of thought, well, gosh, it can't be so hard to find a computer that runs Windows 98, can't? Yes, yes, indeed, it can. It'll run it, but in order to have all the devices working, it is a total pita. Just think about that for a minute. Alrighty, so that's the next segment in my saga. Saga. I'm going to charge them a lot of money for this. But I'm not going to charge them extra because I screwed up the first time. I'm just going to charge them a reasonable rate uh, based on how long I should have taken the first. Because what I should have done was written it to the new drive, put it in the old computer, fired it up, made sure it worked, call them up, and then do what I'm going to do this time that I get a good image. So. There you go. Live and learn, right? Fortunately, it was over the weekend. And fortunately, data recovery doesn't require anything more than just supervision. I mean, it's not like I have to sit there for eight hours and look at the screen and wait for things to happen. I can just wonder what might have been. All righty. Questions or comments, leave them in a the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. If you'd like us to attempt some data recovery, we'd be happy to do it. <clears throat> Even if your machine does not boot, it is still possible to uh, get data off a disk. Even if your machine does not recognize the drive, it is still possible to get data off that disk. Um, although, your odds get a little slimmer if it gets to that point. Alrighty, see you on the next video.